It is time to leave your worries outside and join us inside the treehouse, specifically me, Dan O'Malley, along with Trey Trenholm and Raj Sharma, episode 88 right now inside the treehouse. If you are coming off of the Patreon episode, which is also known as the Treehouse Plus episode, then uh, you have learned about how Utah sucks and how uh, religious-based states suck. And uh, let's not do that in general, ever. But it's especially, let's not do that in, in Texas, again, or anywhere else. If you would like to know more about how Utah sucks, one, you could go there yourself, or two, just spend $5 a month and learn about it from our travel correspondent, Raj Sharma. And, and you, too, will also know about the, the citizens of Utah, <laughs> one in particular named Squatty Pete. <laughs> uh, for $5 a month inside of our subscription-based Treehouse Plus program, patreon.com slash treehouse on air. You can learn about all those things and other things each week inside, deep, deep inside the Treehouse. <laughs> As it is, it is episode 88, time for the regular stuff, the free stuff. And once again, I would uh, like to mention how I do not like to live in, um, uh, what is it, religious stocracies. No, I love living in paradise. I just don't like living in any place where one religion tells everyone how they, how they should or should not live. And to that end, I have some troubling news to share with you boys about uh, island life. Oh, boy. And that is, doesn't matter where you move to, where you go, where you hide, the Jehovah's Witnesses will find you. Mm. Yes. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. At this point, I'd prefer the goat man of Bordeaux Mountain lurking outside the house. I but think that's his picture. <clears throat> Uh, no, this is according <laughs> according to the, the the two nice ladies outside our house this morning. That's Jesus. Oh, did you? Um, uh, that right there is a, that it, is an artist rendering of Jesus. Did Did you know you can schedule an appointment with uh, for Jehovah's Witnesses? I thought you were about to say Jesus. I'm like, oh my god, people have been waiting for him for a while. <laughs> He's, Jesus is on Calendly. Let me look. Up. <laughs> Let me schedule some time. I got questions. Many, I like, I like how many <laughs> questions. I like how they just gave their 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 version of white Jesus just brown hair. Like well, the, the thing off. is, though, I actually give them credit because you know, uh, thinking logically, common mm -hmm. sense, right? Jesus is 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 from Middle East, he's from Africa yeah. area. So yeah. blue eyed European Jesus, he was not. No, unless he had some serious recessive genes in there, which I guess could be possible. But at least at least this Jesus is brown eyed Jesus. Like like this Jesus is sort of. While he's not, um, I wouldn't immediately say he's a Jesus of color. Um, he's not lily white either. And at least he doesn't have blue eyes. Um, yeah. He just looks like the brawny man. Like if you, if you put, if you yeah. put, if you put flannel and suspenders, that's a, that, that dude's drinking IPAs in Uptown. That is true. Uh, it, this, this is, uh, this is hipster Jesus. Cause yeah, uh, th this is, this is the brawny man with, with uh, curly hair. Yeah, I dig it, man. He listens to everything on vinyl. Oh yeah, because <laughs> you know, it sounds better. He's a uh, staple at Josie's Records. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's got uh, the. Hey, hey, hold up that picture. Press. He also sells all of his old pants at Buffalo Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> he only buys used uh, uh, Chucks, not the new ones out of the box, because no, no, no. that would be because I'd waste not Ooh, who is that you got on your phone there, Trey? That you're showing me. So this was yeah. the guy who played Peter in in, a, in the Bible whole big series they did a few years ago. It's like like it literally it looks like they took him and put him as Jesus. They I think they did. <laughs> oh yeah, like. I think yeah. Hold hold that up side by side. Let's do this again. This is again where it would come in handy to join our Patreon because we put the full video of every episode on Patreon.com slash Treehouse on Air. That is uh, God, That's if we could just cross resume. over and hold them in uh, like across our little screen panels, that'd be perfect. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Yeah. He also looks a little bit like uh, Dominic West from uh uh what's the what's the drug show in Washington? The cop show. 
I have no idea. It's one of the best. Uh, the Wire. The Wire. Oh, The Wire. Some, for some reason, I was trying to call well, it The Line, and I know that's it's, it's a movie about lines, but it's called The Wire. But Dominic West, Baltimore, who's one of right? the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Dominic West was also in 300. He played the bad guy. Yeah. That's kind of what he looks like there. Anyway, so uh, uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses will find you no matter where you go on this planet. And I also suspect that if you manage to colonize Mars... There's going to be two old ladies that are going to knock on your uh, on your uh, colony door and ask if uh, and ask if you know about Water Tower magazine and are you saved? Is that the new Water Tower? It used to be an actual like four page Watch, <laughs> Watch Tower, Tower, not Water Tower. Watch Tower. Water Sorry, Watch Tower. See, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Well, no, no. Front. I mean, you know, Water it's, Tower it's, actually makes sense. Maybe it's holy water in there. No, maybe he turns every tower into wine. Like that would be nice. Now that's a good recruiting tool. Yeah, like uh, you know, we'll we'll give you access to this water tower. Turn your turn your faucet on and watch, and then you, you every and day everyone, you wish, but... everyone can paint their their mascot on their their water tower. <laughs> yeah, just going to use Peter from the Bible, <laughs> four time state champion on that water tower. Well. <laughs> Constantly defeating Satan. That's what he's doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just uh and Jehovah's uh, Witnesses really the, the angels won again. We're so shocked. <laughs> uh, they, they're they're the no holidays, no birthday present people, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, gotcha. and I'm no, I'm just I'm not uh, I'm not uh, I'm not down with the with the Jehovah's w- w- Witnesses. No, thank you. Yeah, it was too crazy for Michael Jackson. Like just FYI, like, he was raised Jehovah's Witness, and when he when he spread out on his own before he released Thriller, he was like. F all y'all. I'm out of here. <laughs> like he just went and did his own thing. Like maybe that's what it was. Like, maybe it wasn't so much of uh, him in some sort of identity crisis, mm-hmm. you know, by you know bleaching his skin and you know vitiligo and all that kind of stuff. Maybe he was just trying to hide. <laughs> but you can't from them, apparently. Exactly. So. And he learned that the very, very hard way. Uh, um, as I have now learned, what, because think... they even have them here on St. John. The good thing is about the Jehovah's Witnesses is, like this, they will put their address in the pamphlet. So you see right there where it says uh, 5G. So addresses here are a little funky. 5G mm-hmm. Estate Pastory Pocket Money Road, St. John VI. The thing I appreciate about the Jehovah's Witnesses when they put their addresses is mm-hmm. that means I know the address to avoid. I make sure that I never go in there. If my car breaks down, that's the house I'm not going into to ask for help. I'd rather. Both Prince and Michael Jackson Mm -hmm. at one point were Jehovah's Witness. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to just say that it's a bad. If you're a talented, you know, black guy, bad religion. Let's. (laughs) Also, also a good band, bad religion. I wonder if they're related as well. <laughs> yeah, I um my my dad they would they would always come to, to my my folks house to to drop off the uh, the watchtower uh pamphlet because my dad would invite them like hey come on in like talk to me let me hear about it. And they would sit there and they were just stunned that they got that far. And <laughs> my dad's like yeah come on in they're like oh, really? <laughs> we never get past the passing out of the pamphlet. Uh so he'd sit down, and they'd talk, and he's like, yeah, still not going to convert, but thank you. But I think my dad was killing time because he was bored. He's like, we got company. <laughs> There's someone to fuck with for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what I'm going to do as an old man. <laughs> <laughs> just let people come in and talk. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't, just, wouldn't, just, wouldn't, 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 wouldn't you rather just have a kid? <laughs> No. <laughs> I, I tell the Jehovah's Witness to get the F out. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, and the Jehovah's you Witnesses years will, to do that. Mm-hmm. And at least the Jehovah's Witnesses will come to visit you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't mean that nursing homes. Is Jehovah's yeah. Witnesses. And I don't mean that you specifically, Trey. I mean that's just sort of a kid thing in general. I hell Do I we... saw the other day there was a story about a guy who um uh cut his kids out of the will or I like cut certain he cut some kids out of the will and others he left in and he put in the will. The reason as to why is because they didn't go, they didn't visit him enough. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's kind of the ultimate old man thing. That makes sense. I get that. 
uh, the last the last thing you you know your uh, your your offspring are going to remember you for is being super petty because they didn't come to visit you, which I kind of get. And so they, of course, went through all the legal stuff. They tried to sue and everything. And the court's like, no, he seemed of sound mind. Yeah. You guys seem like a bunch of a holes. So we're gonna let this stand. Yeah, what's a commercial that's on TV now where the the cat gets everything? <laughs> it's like uh, he gets an unlimited supply of whatever because of whatever pet smart or whatever it is is the uh, online thing it's like and, and oh, the, chewy. Uh, one kid uh what's it was uh, is it chewy, chewy is that what it is yeah. uh and then one kid like gets a train set and they're like and so where does the summer house go and they're like yeah that also goes to mr whatever uh mr chuckles or whatever that this cat's name was and the one guy goes <laughs> it's my favorite part it's my it's it's such an a-hole move from the cat uh because cats are a-holes to begin with Mm -hmm. uh and he goes when they're like then the summer house goes to so uh to mr chuckles or whatever and the one kid goes what and the cat goes but you got a train set <laughs> uh, so... i was like that is the that is I, I want that cat if i can have a cat that's the one i want this is the one yeah, that just literally that... calls you out on your bs <laughs> be great it's also a very accurate representation of 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 cats like if they could in fact talk like eh, yeah i know do we do you guys know because i don't uh and i'm pretty versed in a lot of religions but i know nothing about jehovah's witnesses except for they don't get to have fun uh i i know a little bit just based on research that i've done on this show for years uh that's also the reason why i know a little bit about scientology and the reason why i know a little bit about lots of things is because somehow it would come up and next thing you know i'd start you know, Googling stuff and finding things okay. out. Um, like one of the things that always intrigued me about the Jehovah's Witnesses is that supposedly, if I remember this correctly, and this may have changed, um, but only like 444,000 people get into heaven and the Jehovah's I think Witnesses. It's 104, I think it's 144,000. 144, okay, 140. So limited, yeah. heaven's got limited space according uh -huh. to Jehovah's Witnesses. It seems, it has always seemed weird to me. If Jehovah's Witnesses feel only 144,000 of them specifically get into heaven and no mm. one else, then why mm. are they constantly recruiting? Don't they have 144,000 by now? No, but what if that's the thing? They're like, God, like, man, we're at 112. <laughs> we're right there. Like, and maybe what? what happens if if they hit the 144,000 goal, then the uh, rapture actually happens yeah. and the Earth experiment is shut down and they all poof, disappear like Jedi? Yeah, that's what that they get to 144 and why Jesus comes down. And, uh, uh, or, or, or their heavens run by like FIFA and we're all going to be quadruple bump <laughs> bunked in one room. So then <laughs> I have dibs on Messi. <laughs> Damn it. That's a good dibs, Raj. <laughs> I just, uh, I, I don't, I don't know anything about them. I do know the 144,000. I thought that was Mormons as well that had a, a finite number of how many people were getting in. Uh, but uh, I, don't I, I don't know. Based on your time in Utah recently, you you would probably be the foremost expert on Mormonism inside the treehouse. I, my 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 limited experience with the Mormon religion uh, is based on sixth grade basketball when my basketball coach at the Y or whatever league it was in in Plano at the time uh, also had his church basketball team with his son and they needed someone to play. So they asked me after we got finished with our quote unquote regular league game yeah. if i wanted to come play in their mormon league and i was like okay sure uh, and uh and that we played on i think the court was on carpet inside of a, a mormon church it, it, it was very very odd so yeah, was that were the other teammates just all of that coach's kids yes <laughs> the cheerleaders were all his wives <laughs> that'd be great <laughs> They outlawed that many, many years ago, Raj. Sure, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, I have TL I have TLC. I know. I know it goes on. I, I see. I see seeking sister wives. That's not normal. Who wants more wives? Who's who's who wakes up that happy? <laughs> Nobody's like, you know what I need? More of this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'd like? Fourteen of these. Yeah. <laughs> who wants more wives? This guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. I. I feel, why? I feel... Why would you only want a nagger of one when you can have a chorus of naggers? <laughs> Trey, um, don't bleep that. 
or do. <laughs> I mean, we'll lose every sponsor, but if you're going to go out, go out that way. <laughs> no, I, I think I think our sponsors might, might might hang around just to see what happens. But where did I put that delete button? <laughs> Uh, I I have a fe- I had a fear because I I like to get to know about other people's religions because they're just fascinating, but I wanted to ask like uh like Squatty Pete his whole uh his whole family um my mom dad uh, brothers they're all Mormons he's the one that uh, uh, I guess left the pack and we saw how it turned out for him. Um, well, but, it, in in the in the uh, Treehouse Plus episode, Trey did mention the Mormon Mafia, so maybe there's something to be said about yeah when you maybe. when you live when you live in Provo and you, and you and in Provo, Utah, and you leave yeah the religion, then you know maybe you're you're, you're, you're turned to Squatty Pete. Uh, you're black, you're blackballed. He's like the Fredo of their mafia. <laughs> 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 is he um, going around kissing dudes on the mouth that might explain some of it <laughs> um but i wanted to ask him like you know so tell me about and i didn't want to because i they're that kind of that's the kind of religion maybe squatty pete's not that way but if i would have asked anybody else i think they would be like i think he wants to know more so he can join and i'm like that's not i just want research i just want to be i just want you to tell me the 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 pros and cons of your religion like i don't know what what they are for like uh, no booze, no caffeine, no sex, no nothing. But you, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I, don't I knew, I side. knew that basketball game was weird when at halftime, instead of Gatorade and orange slices, they all started drinking milk. And I'm like, Oh, that's not, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you guys aren't used to winning. <laughs> <laughs> used to vomiting a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> this is just milk in a trash can. <laughs> That's uh yeah that's I think foul. maybe they were on a mission to get that uh, uh, uh court carpet peeled up and put the, actual hard The only uh cuz you know how they have to I know, I do know this they have to do a um is it a mission is that the, the, when you graduate high school or something like mm-hmm. that don't you have yeah. to Yeah like, Yeah like as Freddie Mercury said get on your bike and ride Yeah so know? it's so I I take it back my 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 first experience with Mormonism was with a basketball coach in sixth grade, my second experience with Mormonism and what I know about it uh, mostly revolves around uh, the movie Orgasmo and South Park. Okay, uh, I was in <laughs> I was in London in 2009. I was doing some shows up there, and I was in Watford. Uh, That's where I was staying. And I went down to the city central, and I there was a subway there, and I'm like, ah, I'm gonna get a subway sandwich. And I walk out of the subway, and I'm going to my right, and from behind me, I hear these two guys talking. And it's very American accents. And I got excited that there's not a lot of American people in Watford. So I turned around and I go, oh, I know those accents. And then they turned around and there was name tags and ties and they had bicycle helmets in their hand. And they go, uh, they go, uh, what they? I go, I recognize those accents. And they turn around and go, hey, man, how's it going? I go, nope, not today. And I turn around the other way and just kept walking. <laughs> I'm like, nope, not dealing with this. I'm, I'm in London. I'm not dealing that with this. That does here. beg the question then who's more committed, the Mormons or the Jehovah's Witnesses? They're they they're on an island. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think. Oh, the Mormons are here too. I've seen them. No. Yeah. Are they on the, yeah. are they on the bikes? Well, some of these some of these roads are pretty steep. <laughs> <laughs> they're extreme Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're it's the zip lining Mormons. <laughs> screw, screw the X Games. You got the cross games. <laughs> <laughs> he hit a 360 salvation. <laughs> You're listening to the Treehouse. Visit us online at treehouseonair.com. Let's talk to Daniel Cook from Cook DFW Roofing and Restoration for your free roof inspection. 833 Cook DFW, the website cookdfw.com. Daniel, we talked about uh, spring break recently. There is a shot girl in Fort Lauderdale who is selling hurricane shots. Now, it's not just your normal shot because for 30 bucks you get your liquor of choice, but then after you get fed the shot by the scantily clad shot girl, she then tosses a pitcher of water in your face and then slaps you across it are you throwing thirty dollars at that uh, no dan i can say probably not i'm past that i i know plenty of guys that probably would you know that that's probably i would probably just sit there and watch guys do that for an hour or so that would be a good enough for me 
I need the address of this place because we're going to go to Florida here soon. So, hey. It, I tell you what, you guys go to that place and I'll call this shot girl and I'll send her 60 bucks and you both get smacked. <laughs> yeah. That's I on me. Just, I'd almost just do it just to see Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a treehouse client special. All right. Oh, give man. Daniel Cook a call for your free roof inspection. Uh, they do great work. And the number for that inspection, 833 Cook DFW, the website cookdfw.com. You're in the treehouse. Visit us online at treehouseonair.com. This segment of the Treehouse brought to you by Cook DFW Roofing and Restoration. Give Daniel and Carrie Cook a call for your free roof inspection. Make sure it's ready for those uh, soon to be hitting us. Well, actually, some of them already have hit us. Uh, spring storms, although really the storm season's now year round. It's just heavier this time of year. Make sure your uh, roof is ready for the season and the storms to come see how they fared on the previous one because you don't want a tiny problem turning into a big one free roof inspection cook dfw.com 833 cook dfw 833 cook dfw and again the website cook dfw.com also first segment brought to you by the dallas comedy club comedy five nights a week in the safe corner of deep ellum at the dallas comedy club your new home for funny in north texas dallas-comedyclub.com is the website for ticket and event info five nights a week dallas-comedyclub.com we spoke during our week of treehouse gone wild our spring breakout about whether or not spring break as we all knew it when we were college aged was over and i saw that uh there are remnants of the things we recognized from our spring breaker years that have lived and not only lived, but they have flourished. And in some cases been taken to the next level. I am, I am talking specifically about a young lady who goes by the name of hurricane Ayana. She uh, lives on a boat off the coast of Florida near Fort Lauderdale. And she works two months a year, spring break bartending in South Florida, in Fort Lauderdale. And for a mere $30 per shot, I, I, I need to take it back. She's not a bartender. She's a, uh, she's a freelance shot performer. Mm. I think mm. might be a good description. So for $30, uh, not only will she uh, uh, find a creative way to deliver your shot into your mouth, Uh, But she'll also splash you in the face with a pitcher of water and then slap the ever lover, the ever loving piss right out of you. All for $30. Um, And and makes enough to to not work 10 months out of the year. Yeah. I mean, she's she's living that Texas State Fair lifestyle where you only work part of the year and you make so much in that portion of the year. You do whatever you want the rest of it. She's a booze carny. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> How's that for uh, a LinkedIn profile? <laughs> um, okay, and people uh, people are paying for this. Yes, not only paying for it, but it's very popular on social media. Raj, allow me to uh, introduce you to Hurricane Ayana. Oh, Water. Oh, now, so there you saw the shot, the water, and the smack, and now he has uh, seemingly passed out from just sheer joy mm-hmm. until he stands, realizing he's now been baptized in the waters of spring break, and he celebrates. <laughs> Followed I, up, I, I'm, I'm sure, with a hearty let's go. I'd just like to point out that... When we were on spring break, we were trying to find boobs to take shots off of. Yes. We are yes. not the same. This generation. No. Jesus. No. And I, I you know, here's, you got to give credit to spring break. Um, because it, uh, just a mere three years ago, we were gloves and, and, <laughs> and masks and social distancing. And now we're just, 
plastic tubes and mouths. <laughs> that, but, that's, that's where we've gone. Like, and and <laughs> I do, you do love it. I mean, Fort Lauderdale, you know, Spring Break has moved to Fort Lauderdale is what the video said. That's where it kind of originated. It's just now everything's coming back, you know, full yeah. circle. Daytona and Fort home. Lauderdale. Yeah. 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 Spring Break has come home. Because th there's a whole generation in those communities that have forgotten what it's like. Now they're going to get spring break, give Miami a break, and then yeah. know, there'll be a nice rotation. That's right. Yeah. It is. It's sort of like the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> you got cities bidding. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cities bidding for spring break. And uh, so spring break has come home to Fort Lauderdale. And apparently she's angry and slapping these kids silly uh, for having left in the first place. Huntsville, Alabama never wins. <laughs> they, they never get. Trust me, break. Huntsville, Alabama for spring break is a hell of a lot better than Huntsville, Texas. <laughs> that's a different um, shot. Yeah, that's a uh, Trey's right. Like with the the the, the, the two times I, I went down to Pondre, that was the thing. It was like you were wanting to do like the, the body shots were cool. Like that was kind mm -hmm. of fun. And then you know, uh, keg stands on the beach. There's a. It was amazing to me um, as the, uh, the son of immigrants to see what uh, people that have grown up here generation after generation uh, will do for plastic beats. That I mean, was, they don't uh, do that on uh, during spring break along the Ganges. Uh, no, uh, there's uh, that. That also sounds like a terrible Julie Roberts movie. Uh, but <laughs> they're, no, they're... no, no, let's not sell it short. Has anyone tried Ganges gone wild? <laughs> I don't think you want to. That's where, that's where we go to take the dead. <laughs> oh, wait, I think you're right. I think that's the problem is the Ganges is already too wild. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Right. Uh, and there is no spring. There's no such thing as spring break in India. That's hilarious. It's like, uh, no, school keeps going until you're a doctor. And that's when school finishes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's when school ends. That's when you're a doctor. Uh but yeah, I, I would. I, it was amazing. Like I would see these girls, and then we had we had the the, the beads were were given, um, and it was uh, it was amazing uh, what was what was happening for said uh, for said trinkets uh, during during my time of spring break in nineteen ninety six no ninety seven ninety eight is when I went down. So uh, nobody 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 got slapped in the face after a pitcher of water. Um, that was uh, and paid thirty dollars for it. That's that's just that's just not financially sound. Well, that also might just speak to uh, to the inflation problem that we're experiencing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I see stuff like this, and I'm like, somebody's dad's gonna like, somebody's parents are gonna watch this. I'm like, you know, what's our kid doing? What's our kid doing in college? You know, he's doing great. He's getting, you know, he's getting decent grades. You know, he studies a lot, and then they see this, and like, thirty. That's where thirty dollars went. Like, I, that's the Indian parent in my head. I'm There's like, a dad Dude. that's going. There's my money at work. <laughs> <laughs> there could be a proud dad and a very angry mom. That's it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's also that. There's also there's also the dad that that is that is saying like, son, why did why why didn't it, I, I want to go? <laughs> <laughs> or, or the dad's going, son, let me show you how to spend thirty bucks far more wisely. <laughs> Baby dolls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But then there's also, but then there's also a shot girl going like father, like son. <laughs> I figured that's something like, like Robert Kraft would tell his kids, like we are in Florida right now. Let me show you how to spend, spend $30. Come with me. <laughs> Why are we at the strip mall? <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear? Strip club? No, no strip mall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're not here for back to school. clothes. <laughs> is, is that Tom Brady? <laughs> like, it, it sure is son. Let's yeah. go inside now. <laughs> Florida just clearly does operate on a completely different level. And this is another good example of that. Yeah, it's just just oxycontin and just oxycontin and test tube shots. Like good, good on you. Yeah, I did <laughs> well see there was Florida. a sep there's a separate video that, that this girl posted, Hurricane Ayana, um, where like I mean you I'm gonna show you, I'll show you this again. This kid she claims in a couple of posts that she's a really good performance artist and that she doesn't slap them as hard as it truly appears. Mm. But watch this and you'd you be the judge, okay? So oh, there's the shot oh, down the mouth. In the Water in the face. Oh! Slap to the cheek. I mean, you know, maybe they're both uh, theater majors from <laughs> from University of Miami, and it's stage combat. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> or he's doing his Jake Paul impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he better watch out if Mike Tyson comes to the ring with a test tube shot in his mouth. <laughs> Let me make it better. <laughs> I just want I just want Mike Tyson to knock knock him out and go, just call me Hurricane Ayana. <laughs> walk away. <laughs> you just got hurricane, bitch, and just keep going. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Someone was talking about the Rocky Four and yeah, the the Drago yeah. Apollo Creed, you know, that it it was an exhibition match. And someone goes, has anyone uh, told Mike that this is an exhibition match? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, do, we, uh, do we have a, do we have a, do we have, have has anybody been keeping up with the clips? I have not seen, I have not seen a most recent Mike Tyson training clip, but I do know just from seeing day three, three. and I day, saw day four. Four. You saw day four because he's his rhyming skills are, are, are getting really good because it was day three used to want to f with me yeah and then day four is this is what's in store and i was yeah. like oh he gonna kill that kid like that's <laughs> like <laughs> my god what was day six uh <laughs> uh <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to guess <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to do some more research. <laughs> Day but. six, punching a bag of dicks. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you talking right. about, Mike? <laughs> I know we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> we're right there. No. You're listening to the Treehouse. Visit us online at treehouseonair.com. Let's get Jacqueline into the treehouse now. For any and all of your plumbing wants and needs, give her a call. 214-368-3838. The website, brooksplumbingtexas.com. Jacqueline, do you have a strategy with dealing with Jehovah's Witnesses? No, but believe it or not, for as aggressive as I am when it comes to my company, when I'm, and I mean that, like I'm aggressive for my customers and then I'm aggressive towards people who I think are trying to take advantage of us in any capacity. Um, when I'm not in my business hat, when I'm not wearing the business hat, I have a really hard time being mean to people or rude or yeah. what I feel so guilty. And so, no. It sounds like you do a similar approach to me, which is if you if you have the advantage of seeing them coming, you can just hide. I live on an acre on a county road, which is a two lane highway highway. I've lived there for two years and have not once ever had a solicitor. So that's, mm, that's my secret. I don't have to deal with them. See, I thought moving to an Island, I wouldn't either, but surprise, they found us. So your time will come. They'll get to you. Eventually it'll happen. I'll, I will not be eager, eagerly awaiting. In the meantime, you can just turn everything off and just, you know, lie on the ground and you can hide from them. I'm always here too. So I think they're done by the time I get home. They're like long gone. You're helping people with their plumbing issues. So for your plumbing issues, whether it's a want or a need, give Jacqueline a call. Uh, she will not hide from you. Just the Jehovah's Witnesses. 214-368-3838. The website, brooksplumbingtexas.com. You're listening to The Treehouse. Visit us online at treehouseonair.com. This segment of The Treehouse brought to you by Brooks Plumbing. For any and all of your plumbing wants and needs, call our friends at Brooks Plumbing. 214-368-3838. 214-368-3838. The website, brooksplumbingtexas.com. Uh, coming off the heels of uh, uh, Hurricane Ayana. Uh, I was starting to tell you guys, there's other videos of her. Like she claims that, that she's, you know, pulling these slaps and she's not slapping these kids as hard as it appears. Uh, she does women as well, by the way. Uh, and she'll do more than one at the same time. There's also, there's a pretty good video of her where she goes down the line. There's like five chicks or five guys lined up in front of her and, uh, she'll give shots to all of them. And then she'll douse all of them with a pitcher of water and then give give each a double slap as she works her way down the line. It's pretty impressive. But um, there's another video where she's got like blood on her palm. Uh, her hand is bruised. You've got guys with split lips and stuff. And it's like, okay, you see, you're, 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 you're saying one thing, but it's like, mm -hmm. oh, no, no, it's not that hard. 
but then some of these kids are, are spitting up blood as well. So mm, kind of mixed messages here. Yeah, I, I that's the, I don't, that's just, you're, are they all white? Someone, Can I ask? I know it's, I, I pull that card a lot. Nah, in the nah, video. No, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> In the video that you're you go, you go generational, one... but no, uh -uh. <laughs> but it seems like this one just white kid fun, <laughs> like, 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 can... young, young white kids. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, like, that's, like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, in the video of her, like, slapping, like, going down the line and just slapping people and like busted lips. Are those all white kids? Of course, okay, good. Like, um, at least that stayed the same. Like, that's good. <laughs> I looked, I didn't see any <laughs> right, right after this. Is your, your sign up to you know go hike Everest? <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up, Trey. <laughs> Mount Everest climbers must now meet a new requirement. Did you hear about this? Uh -uh. Mount Everest climbers must now rent and wear a tracking device on their journeys to cut down time on search and rescue missions. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nepal's tourism department director uh, of mountaineering I said, maybe there's a different director of valleying. I don't know. Uh, but Nepal's tourism department director of mountaineering says that a climber will pay around $10 for an electronic device the size of a thumb drive provided by their expedition agency, which will be inserted inside their jacket, then returned after the climb. If anything goes wrong, the idea is that the search and rescue missions can locate the missing climber with the help of the detector. So, um, basically getting Apple air tags on Everest climbers to make it easier to scoop them up. <laughs> I, I honestly, I mean, maybe there's something, but in general, if, if you are in need of rescue on Everest, you're dead, you're dead. Yeah. That's it's just period. That's, the end. And they're yes. not coming to get your body. Like, I, like it, you, that's your final resting place too. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's, <laughs> That's just them going. Um, here's what. Oh yeah. See that, so see why that did you just ask light? for ten bucks? <laughs> first of all, first of all, Nepal. This is why you're having charge more. You're dealing with people that are spending two hundred thousand dollars to go climb a mountain. Charge them a thousand bucks for for this thing. Yes, they got it. Uh, but yes. ten dollars, ten dollars of them is eighty is eight hundred of theirs. So it's not. It's not too. It goes a long way. It's not. It's not too shabby. Uh, but still, you're no. But you. They need. They need to know their worth, Raj. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But still, it's ten dollars. You know, I, I mean this in, in all seriousness. If nothing else, use that. Charge more. Use that as a fund for the Sherpas and their families. <laughs> yeah, but it's. It is ten dollars for just a Nepalese guy to go. This is where he died. See the little bloopy thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, they're going to have an iPad with a map of going, here are all the bodies. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like when you when you buy someone a star. <laughs> this is your star right there. <laughs> we named him your uncle. <laughs> this is what it is right there. <laughs> it's still blinking, but he isn't. <laughs> in other news oh a group of california residents have filed a lawsuit against starbucks and claimed the popular coffee house chain discriminates against lactose intolerant customers okay oh california the five million dollar class action lawsuit represents maria bolliger don miller and shinda smith three women who allege Starbucks has violated the Americans with Disabilities Act by charging lactose intolerant coffee lovers like them more for non-dairy milk options, and they are not having it. God, I hate people. You I too? I just hate them. I just hate them. Don't, don't, bring your own stuff if that's the case. And they're like, you want cream and coffee? No, I brought it. I got my own stuff. I'm lactose intolerant. Um, 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 that's, that's for somebody that, that, that's lactose intolerant. They're very intolerant <laughs> of them for, for their companies, uh, for the people that provide them a service. That's, uh, that's so dumb. God, it's just so, we're just such a litigious society now. It sucks. Yeah. I'm so glad I've never had Starbucks. The lawsuit so they, they, they charge more for something that costs them more. Yes. That, that's, that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> in expense, in, um, in expensive cities, not inexpensive, but in expensive cities such as san francisco and new york city alternatives to cow milk such as 
oat, almond, coconut, and soy milk can add up to 90 cents to a customer's bill. This lawsuit claims Starbucks is adding a surcharge to the products, even though milk costs are comparable to lactose-free options. Hey, or you can just drink your coffee black. Yeah. Yeah. Try being a little more tolerant. Try <laughs> try drinking, try drink, try having coffee with your coffee beverage. Yes. <laughs> or, yeah. or... <laughs> That's really uh, what it is. I mean, what do you think a lot of these specialty beverages are? Like uh, a latte. What is a latte? It's know. it's a bunch of milk with a little bit of coffee, right? It's like a it's steamed milk okay. with some coffee, or it's uh or it's, it's steamed milk with one shot of espresso or something. It's, yes. it's 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 not watered down. It's dairied down coffee. Yeah, it's. But isn't the end result of lactose intolerance and coffee the same thing? You just try to take a big dump. Like, that's not what you're trying to do. I think la- lactose intolerant people get real gassy. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So it's just, they're, they're not allowed. They're, they're just not really liked at work. Is that what it is? Like? <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, it, it's, I mean, they have to pay more for us not to have to smell their dairy intolerance. But that's like, think about coffee shops and bars. Mm-hmm. What are their two purposes? They make something that people love, but tastes like shit. Okay. Tastes good. <laughs> There's a sex joke in there somewhere, but I can't find it. Now. <laughs> so I found one other. Uh, I found the example that I wanted to show you of uh, of Hurricane Ayana doing a, a group shot with a bunch of spring break girls. Ready? Okay. All right. So here they are. They're in their uh, their. They're all on their knees, standing in front of Hurricane Ayana. She's got their shot tubes in her uh, swimsuit, like panty line thing, or across the front. So they got to take him out of her bottoms, basically. And mm-hmm. then they drink, and then she hits them all in the face with water, and then double slaps each one of them. And again, these these girls paid thirty dollars each for this treatment. Here we go. <laughs> Just up and down the line, just that's the wrong button, but you get the idea. I don't understand. Them. Like, what how boring is your bar? Like, like, what else do we need? Like, I'll pay thirty dollars for somebody to slap the shit out of me right now. <laughs> and then Hurricane Ayana pops up like deal. Hey Dan. <laughs> yes, sir. I think you there's a, a bit here, you know. Hurricane Terra. Okay. You can, you can recreate this. She, she, you know, and that okay. hey, we know she wants to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I get Hurricane Terra without without the without the liquor. It just <laughs> clean the cat box. You should go you, catch I mean, go go catch that bat. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, there's a there's a, is there a market for that in uh, in 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 St. Thomas or St. John? In, uh, dude, d- 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 that type of scene is a different mentality. Most people come here; it's more of a chill, relaxed vacation. There's oh, some gotcha. people that are going to party like that, but it's it's a it's a much smaller segment of the population. People okay. that do that, they're going to Cancun, they're they're going to Fort Lauderdale. Gotcha. Um, here, not 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 as much. I mean, you could put your own spin on it. Like Tara could uh, to, to to do the shot, uh, the pour the jug of water on them, and then like slap them with a the chicken. It could be shots and cocks. I don't know how it works, but it could be something to that effect. Or an iguana. Or, or a goat. Or, or a goat. <laughs> or you just you you you're, you get a you get a shot of uh, rum and you get kicked in the head by by a feral donkey. <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing, but that could happen here. <laughs> but the, that's spring but break just, in India. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you put the scorpions to work. You know, have them deliver tequila shots. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, one final thing before we uh, punch out of the treehouse today. Uh, we missed it last week, but I'll mention it here. Bluebell has released a new flavor of ice cream. The uh, Bluebell has released their new flavor of ice cream. It is called Gooey Butter Cake. It has a cake batter ice cream base with a cream cheese swirl and pieces of gooey butter cake. And interestingly enough, I'm pretty sure that's what Jake Paul's going to look like after Mike Tyson's done with him. (laughs) 
is gooey butter cake. <laughs> That's fantastic. They should. They could have just called it Jake Paul, but they had to give it a name. <laughs> well, I think I think that's one of those. Um, uh, it starts out as just plain old gooey butter cake, but then after the fight or after the fight, then they'll rebrand it as Jake Paul. Ben, ben and Jerry's will release a flavor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take two scoops, bitches. I'll take two scoops. <laughs> <laughs> that's Tyson with two scoops, please. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, wow. I, I I'm not a big uh, again, not a big sweets guy, but I will. Uh, butter cake sounds interesting. Um, Go- I, I, no, 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 gooey butter cake. What is a goo? Like what? A, um, okay, that doesn't. I, I don't know. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, I'll try it. Uh, you don't. You don't. You, do you get the blue bell on the uh, on the island there, my friend? No, that's why when I see these stories, it makes my heart hurt because Bluebell doesn't ship here because we're too far away. Trey, so when I go. so when I see news alerts about Bluebell with new flavors, it uh, it makes me long for home. Oh, we should we should get some water, some water burger, yeah, and eat it on the air while we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> while we're talking, or some uh, ch- Chipotle. Uh, I tell you what, you want to meet Hurricane Tara? When well, you get on this show and you eat a bunch of Chick Fil A in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing next week. Yeah. <laughs> Dying? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> she turned everyone into gooey butter cake. Uh-huh. <laughs> Easier to bury. <laughs> yeah. All she got to do is pour you down the mountain. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks for hanging out with us inside the treehouse today. Covered a lot. Covered a lot of ground. We did some good work today, gentlemen. Yeah. So we'll keep it up next episode. Friday inside the treehouse. We will see you then.